Breaking news this midday, the state of Texas is moving forward with a takeover of the Houston Independent School District. Speculation has been swirling for weeks now, and just in the last hour, the Texas Education Agency has let HISD know about its formal decision. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry is live in Austin this midday, where the state education commissioner is explaining his decision. Right, Bryce? That's right, Kathy Haley. Commissioner Mike Morath did meet with Harris County area lawmakers here in this conference room at the Capitol behind me this morning, letting them all know of his decision before he formally notified HISD of this plan to move forward with the takeover. The TEA commissioner did speak with us one on one and explain his decision. He did acknowledge that the school district has improved since this takeover attempt started in 2019, but he says that the current state law requires him to take action now, just like it did for Four years ago, when a campus like HISD's Wheatley High School goes five years in a row, ratings. The Commissioner of Education is required to act, it's not discretionary, in the event that a, a single school in a district goes for extended periods of time um, uh, with sort of what you would think of as chronically low achievement. There has to be some effort to, to solve that problem before half a decade or a decade pass. What's your response to people who say this is? playing politics. We are laser focused on how do we make sure that we provide the best supports possible for students in Houston. Uh, so uh, no, I don't, I don't think there's any, any truth to that. So what this means right now is the state is beginning a that they're also opening an application today for a new board of managers. Those, uh, that board rather will replace uh, the current elected school board, they'll take over uh, all duties and powers that the elected. It's time for this to be over. We're, we're not sure how long that will take. That's something that the state will have to decide. All of those newly appointed people are expected to be in their position, the state says, hopefully by June 1st, only two and a half months away. We'll have more on our conversation with the TEA commissioner ahead in our next hour. Haley, Kathy. Bryce, this is huge news for a lot of Houston families. We want to know what are local lawmakers now saying about this? Well, there were a lot of them packed into this room this morning. They are first pointing out that the state has never taken over a school district the mm -hmm. size of Houston ISD. So this is unprecedented. And uh, a lot of notes from what they just said as they walked out and walked past our cameras. Some said that they are uh, outraged, disappointed. They called this a dark day for HISD. But uh, Houston Representative Harold Dutton did say that it's important to change the outcome for some students who are going to school uh, in in these failing schools. He says that failing schools destroy our democracy. He did say, though, he never thought he would see this day come. Uh, there's also some uh, criticism of the Texas Education Agency this morning, uh, some saying that this decision has not been completely thought through. They don't really have much faith in what the TEA is doing. But I do want to point out, this was a meeting for the Harris County delegation. They were the ones who met here. But as that meeting was going on, we did see Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee show up here at the state capitol. Normally, of course, she is in D.C. at the U.S. Capitol, but mm -hmm. she showed up for this meeting and she went in and she listened. She did share some thoughts with us as she walked out. She says that she is still calling on the federal government to intervene. She said that after she talked with us, she was going to make a call to the U.S. Department of Education about what happened in that meeting and hopefully have an update for us soon. Haley and Kathy. All right, Bryce, and I know that we're going to get another update from you in about an hour. All good information, and we're glad that that signal stayed up long enough for Bryce to deliver that. Thank you. Live in Austin, Bryce Newberry, we appreciate your report.